Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to another episode of our City Skylines Snowfall playlist. And I've done a little bit of extra expanding while you're away. Uh, kind of just drawn out some basic grid lines of a road network. You saw we kind of linked up a little bit over here last time out. Just kind of gone in and tinkered a little bit more with this. And then, as you can see, I've started laying out some additional roads around our railway connection as well. Trying to add a little bit more direct access to this station here, seeing as this also serves as a transport hub for our trams as well. Got a couple of cars just kind of very randomly and weirdly drifting off over there, and I'm not entirely sure why they're doing that. Um, that's very odd. Is this one-way street? I don't think it is, but I might be wrong. Very, very weird why our passengers are doing that when they're getting into their cars. Hmm. Well, whatever it was, it seems to have cleared itself now, but yeah, very strange watching just cars just drive off like that. Uh, so as you can see, we have added in a little network of sort of uh, side roads. <laughs> Still going, look. They're hovering as well, I think. I have absolutely no idea what is going on with these two cars here. That's just weird. Oh. They're going into the deep snow by the look of it. <laughs> I kind of want to track these to see how far they go before they completely disappear. Oh, gone. What is going on with those cars? <laughs> Something very odd is happening here. I really, I really don't know what is going on. Where are they going? We'll get back to the tour of the new stuff in a moment. I want to see where these guys are going. I, I'm really... This is bizarre. <laughs> there come the other guys. Skillfully managing to avoid the trains. <laughs> Looks like they're heading to this station over here. is going on they've reconnected with the road and yeah look they're going to that station that very odd now they're driving onto the train it's passengers these are passengers for some reason i well they reached their destination and still more there come the other two very odd I wonder if we'll see that again at some other point in the future. Uh, oh, there's more cars coming, look. <laughs> it's just a whole fleet of them coming. What is going on? Look at all of them. They're still leaving over here. What on earth is happening here? This is bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. I... I don't know what the hell is going on. Oh, it doesn't seem to be breaking the game. It just seems to be one of those weird kind of glitches. I'm guessing it will sort itself out. If not you know, straight away, then once we have a kind of a, a save and a reload at some point in the future... Um, yeah, very odd. Very, very odd. Anyway, back to the expansion. So, yeah, you can see we've got this lattice of additional roads sort of snaking in and out underneath the freeway here. Trying to connect everything together and just break away and add extra sort of uh, side roads to all these, you know, main dual carriageways that we have running through the heart of the areas. It just makes it feel more organic, I think, to have kind of sprawling land masses like this. So we've broken away from the rigidity of our grid network over there. You can see it starts to devolve into this section here. Kind of gets a little bit gridded again here at the heart of our business and commercial district over here and then immediately breaks away from that again over here with a much more regimented and organized sort of uh, 
style breaking away and becoming this kind of circular pattern in a, in a sense over here with lots of different side roads all running through it um so we're fast running out of space in this area which is good yeah we need to boost our population we're up to 15,000 people the next big milestone i think was, we saw was 27,000 uh or 26,000 and that's going to unlock ships for us so we really want to get that unlocked as quick as we can uh, because that's probably the reason why there's no power in this station. Ah, that is probably what's causing these issues. Let's reconnect it to the grid. People are turning up and, and then they can't actually do anything there. Yeah, look, there we go. Oh, well, maybe not. More people leaving that way. Maybe connecting it up to the power, though, will stop that from happening. Um... Wait for the next train to come in and see if people disembarking have that problem or not. Oh, there's a taxi taking a previous passenger back. Here we go. Here's some people getting off. It's still happening. I don't understand this at all. Ah, well. I will. I'll see if I'll. I'll save the file and and reload it after this episode and see if anything else happens. Uh, yeah, we need to get our population up. So I've kind of dropped in the framework. Let's now make sure that we have water and piping that's connecting everything here. Probably going to need to install some additional heat sources pretty soon. But for now, we're kind of running off those uh, geothermal plants that we have. But we may start dropping some boilers in soon as well. Let's expand the range of these pipes to give us good heat coverage. Just need to extend that just a little bit. There we go. Make sure that that station's got proper heat coverage, which it does. Um few businesses are failing because we just don't have enough people but we've created a huge network of roads for us to actually start dropping more people in uh, let's start by putting in a few services now we've got a kind of a dead zone here you can see where it's grayed this is an area where there's a lack of sort of police coverage so we need to kind of make sure that wherever we plonk these there's going to be good access and i think just off this little side road here is a good place to put down some additional police coverage. We're just going to go with small units here. So put police and fire close to each other. Uh, let's check hospitals. Oh, and immediately you can hear all the uh, local businesses that are now getting better police coverage pinging. Same with all these residential houses. And we're seeing upgrades already as well. Look at them all go now that we've got better police coverage there. Uh, where is the nearest hospital? Over there. And we've got a clinic and a sauna just there. I think we could probably do with an actual hospital um, that's reasonably close to the station. That would actually make some pretty good sense. Let's put the hospital just in here, I think. Or maybe just in there. Yeah. So I'll put a hospital in just there. That will send another wave of upgrades pinging through the area. Uh, we could do with probably another cemetery somewhere. Let's put the cemetery next to the hospital. Because <clears throat> I do have that kind of morbid sense of humour. Um, and a crematorium next to that. And let's put another sauna in. We don't have many saunas. Do we want a sauna? <laughs> Yeah, we'll put a sauna behind a crematorium. That's where they're getting their heat from. <laughs> Anyone who gets burnt alive is then heating up the people in the sauna. <laughs> I like the uh, twisted irony and logic of that. Uh, so we've got some good medical coverage over there. We need to boost our education. Uh, so you can see we've got a nice little smattering of sort of elementary schools and, and stuff dotted around. But there's a large population of uneducated people over here. Uh, so let's drop in uh, a school. 
We put the elementary school. Oh, that's our police station there, isn't it? That's why we won't let me drop it in. Put that there. Is that going to give us coverage? Not enough. Kind of need this to be over here somewhere. There we go. We plonk our elementary just there. On that corner. And again, that should save a, uh, send another little wave of uh, happiness through the area. Uh, what about high school? Uh, we've got one there. I've got a couple over there. There's areas over here that need a high school. Um, I think we're okay for a high school in this area. But over here we could definitely do with another one. So we'll drop a high school in just here, I think. I'll have to trigger a wave of happiness through that section there. And also kind of covers into there as well, which is good. Uh, we'll need some elementaries over here as well. So we've got a, some in that area. Uh, let's put one over here. And that'll give coverage to these bits of road over here. Um, might need to improve our incineration status. But at the moment, we seem to be doing okay. We've got... Uh, three plants down here. Let's add a fourth. I did make sure I had space there for a fourth. You can see I've also just kind of just drawn this road in here. Uh, I'm wary about getting too close to this pollution. Um, but I didn't want to just have this main road here as the edge of the zone. I wanted to that kind of cut through part of the zone. So that's why we've got this little extra bit of zoning just here that we can fill in. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we'll probably need some landmarks, not landmarks, some decorations, parks and plazas and so on and so forth. So let's continue with our theme of adding in winter parks, these snowmen parks. Let's see if we can get one opposite the school in a good place. Or at least near to the school. I'm trying to get in there without destroying larger buildings. If I can get away with it, I don't think I can. So let's drop that one there on that corner. And that should now trigger a nice little boost of happiness. And it does. That's good. Uh, let's put something a little bit different in somewhere else. Uh, let's go with an ice sculpture park. These are a little bit smaller. So a little bit easier to place. Again, I want it on a mainish road. Where there's good connection links. I think this might be a good area. It's just finding the right spot. And we're going to drop it just there. And again, you can see another little wave of happiness being triggered there. These people not so, uh, so well covered. So maybe we could put something in there for them. Let's put in a small plaza if we can. Can we get a plaza that's going to work quite well? Actually, somewhere where you can access it from both sides of the road might be quite good. It's going to knock out a few houses, but... If we do that and then put in a little bit of paving like that, maybe link them together. Yeah, that's triggered some more happiness over there. Uh, I could do with some bits and bobs over here. So let's go with just a standard small park somewhere over here. That works quite well, but I don't really want to eat up all of that space if I can. Maybe on this corner, perhaps. Uh, it doesn't want to go there very well, does it? Plonk it on the corner of that junction there. Uh, let's go with a playground. We don't have another playground yet. So, again, let's try and get these near to the schools. Just makes sense for them to be there. And, oh, that's perfect. Right next to the uh, to the playground there. Uh, to the Sorry, to the, uh, to the school. Uh, 
Is there space for a really big park? Somewhere over here, perhaps. Uh, well, we could p kind of put one in here. Doesn't really do much in the way of benefit. I think over here would be quite good. Although it may... Actually, no, a park there next to the pollution is not going to go down so well. Um, it's going to just turn all the trees oh, a very weird colour. No, maybe we can get away with it. We plonk it on this corner, perhaps. Yeah, it's killed the trees, look. Uh, well, maybe people will use it, I don't know. We'll see. It's better than nothing. Uh, I like the ski lodges. These are pretty cool, and they do give a really nice kind of boost. Uh, I like the idea of having ski lodges near our transport links as well. So, can we drop in a ski lodge or two just over here? Uh, yes, we can. We'll put one there. Let's put another one. there as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create some pedestrian access underneath the bridge to kind of connect up to the station as a footpath as well. Um, I think that's enough for now. We can always add more stuff in later. Let's start zoning this area. So uh, let's go with a little bit of commerce in certain places. kind of on little junctions. That's a school, so I don't want shops right there. Let's put some commerce on this little side road just here. Now we can start zoning residential around it. And the same around here as well. really start to fill some of these areas in quite nicely. One little house on the corner there. I don't know how well people are going to react to living next to this uh, freeway. I guess we'll find out. A nice little extra bit of space there for people to move into. Uh, let's do the same over here, but I kind of want to make this... Oops, that's high density. I don't want the high density there. I want the low density. On this little kind of section just here. Put some offices in just there as well. a little bit Actually, let's take that piece of residential out let's make that offices as well uh, put a little bit of uh, residential in just there although actually no commercial makes more sense going there I think we still don't have power over here so we need to continue to expand get that power spread around nicely So close to getting these zones linked up. Uh, where else can we plonk some stuff? You can see these buildings going up quite nicely over here. Let's add in more, <coughs> excuse me, more residential. Around here. Again, the noise from the freeway may potentially become an issue. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on that, see if we can start getting noise complaints around there. little bridge going over the railway. Creates a nice little scene there. Let's add in some more roads around here as well. Uh, and I want to see, do the snow plow, snow dumps create... Yeah, they do create a, a negative impact, that uh, red zone. So we've got two there, we've got two there. Could probably do with another one somewhere. 
Uh, I'm wary of dumping it next to a station, but might not have a choice. I mean, we do have pretty good road coverage, as you can see. I think we're probably okay. Let's check out. Uh, road conditions all look pretty good. Uh, again, we've got one unit just there. We've got another one just there. Got another one just there. We could maybe do with another one. A highways unit down here somewhere, perhaps. fit just there. That'll do. I suppose we could do with the snow dump over here as well. I just didn't really want to get too close to the railway. Tell you what, let's um, let's bring a side road off. Oops. Down here. Like so. And let's put our snow dumps there. So. Let's get two in if we can. One there. And uh, the bend is a little bit severe. The second one in first. There we go, and now we can bring the road out a little bit more. There we go, that works. And let's add piping. Okay. Uh, what else do we need to do? Well, we need to continue zoning over here. Might even need to add additional police services in this section over here somewhere as well. So we've got quite a big area to expand. towards the station. That's going to be kind of the end of our residential just there. See the snow being covered off very quickly thanks to those two new snow dumps. These roads are looking much, much cleaner and healthier. Yeah, look at that. Those roads look brand new now. Barely see anything with snow on it at all. Just a little smattering down there. Uh, speaking of down here, let's add in some office around here a little bit. Throwing a little bit of commercial down here as well. And a little bit more office. And. Yeah, I think we can get away with some commercial down here as well. residential. Well, 
nice big residential block around this junction. Running down here, this is our school, so there definitely needs to be good residential around here. There's our park. This area is really starting to come alive now. In fact, let's just make this a little bit quicker and easier. Just paint that district like that. Uh, and then same again over here. We'll paint all of that residential. Like so. We're looking pretty good, I think. With our new zoning. So now, kind of all we need to do, really, is kind of sit back and wait a little bit. Um, again, I'm not going to go too heavy with the... Adding of extra commercial. You saw last time out, we tried this. We cleared away a few deserted buildings and immediately when new ones started popping up it reduced the desire and demand for new commercial areas. We're trying the same trick again. <clears throat> but we really just kind of need to wait for more people to move in. There's not much of a demand but it is slowly creeping up and there's plenty of space for them so that demand's going to you know, appear non-existent for quite some time. It's basically as soon as somebody wants to move in there will be land there ready for them to move in. So it's just a case of kind of playing a waiting game I suppose now. Waiting for them to actually come out and and start filling up all these zones. So I think, just for something a little bit different, we did this a couple of times in Jimsville. Let's just find something and just follow it. So I'm thinking, oh, that's a fire truck. I'm thinking we find a highways truck. That's something new, uh, one of the road agency trucks. I'm looking to see if I can find one coming out of one of these buildings. They can we find one of them and just watch them going about their business. See where they go. So we'll kind of hang around here a little bit. Is that one of them there? Is that just a red pickup truck? That's just a just a regular commuter. Well, I would definitely like to see one of the there's one. There's a highways truck. There we go, road maintenance. And is that a snow plow in front of it? It is. Let's follow one of these maintenance trucks. He's just starting his shift as well, filling potholes in the roads. So, uh, yeah, let's just follow this guy for a little while, see where he goes and what he gets up to while we're letting people move into our new city. Also gives us a chance to see some areas sort of springing to life other areas that we've kind of built and then not really looked looked at since then gives us a real chance to see how everything is sort of looking from a scenic point of view. So we'll take a little tour and just follow him wherever he wants to go. Oh, we've got a fire. Traffic always seems to get diverted when there's a fire. Hear the sauna sound effects there. Water being thrown on the coals. You can see our tram network as well. Seems to, be, seems to be looping around this district a lot. <laughs> a lot of potholes all in one space. So here we go. We're rejoining our big roundabout here. Whereabouts are we headed? Off towards our business uh, d district, I think. Or is he going back to the office? No, he's going into the district. He's going into the commercial.
Is he going to hit the high weight? No. Back into this area again. He must be finding quite a lot of potholes. It looks as though he just fills them in as he drives. He doesn't need to stop and get out and do any, any work. Oh, we're heading off towards this new expansion. You can see it building and growing. Look at all the people on the ground walking to the station. We definitely need to get some kind of transport link set up there. Oh, and they're finished. They've gone off duty at that road maintenance building just there. Yeah, you can see quite a few people are using our station here, which is good. You can see a lot of people just walking down the roads there to make their way to the station. We definitely could do with adding in some more transport infrastructure in this half of our city. So I think somewhere around here, probably down here perhaps, we'll actually add another tram depot. Maybe get it to uh, join the route over here, come over the bridge, and then service this lower section over here. We'll have to have a look at that. Let's follow the road around a bit more. We're still getting those cars making their journey look. What is causing that? It's so bizarre. I have absolutely no idea why that's happening. And let's look at maybe... Uh, make I don't know. Do we need to make the roundabout bigger? I quite, kind of quite like it at that size. Um, we can make it more scenic, though. Uh, can we get big statue in there perhaps that's the industry statue that's the transport tower it wouldn't fit even if we tried um, let's just go with lots and lots of conifers and just line this area full of conifers Like a big bowl of trees, maybe. Just stick a whole load in here. Lots and lots of trees of different sizes. There we go. Uh, there's a couple that we're going to need to get rid of. Just poking through. A little bit too much. But on the whole, I think that actually looks quite nice. Just take them away from the edge a little bit more convincingly. And uh, definitively. There we go. I think that looks quite nice. Something a little bit different. How is the growth in our city getting on? People complaining, not able to uh, fill their businesses with workers. But you can see there's definitely lots and lots of houses springing up all over the place. There's still a big demand for commercial. But the commercial that we've got isn't getting workers. So I'm very reticent about adding more. You can see our starting area though is really sort of filled up quite quickly. Oh, look at all the failing businesses down here. This is not good. This is really quite bad. This is really bad. Okay, we're going to have to really strip out this area quite comprehensively. Nobody wants to work in industry. Let's see if we can figure out why. Uh... 
not enough workers in you know in general. Look, I mean, there's 14 jobs available at that place. We're going to have to add in a lot more residential over this area, I think. So let's start working on expanding this area. Uh... a little bit. Kind of run alongside the railway line a bit. Let's go straight down here. We just need to cram as many people into this area as possible, so we're going to have to kind of be a little bit gridded over here. But not overly so. Don't want to overdo it. But we definitely do need more people here. Uh, let's connect that road there as well. Bring a little connection through there. Uh, add some more in over here as well. And we may need to start thinking about going into high density pretty soon. having those junctions so close to each other. So what I'm going to do is bring a road out like that and then across like that and then take both of those out. Put a junction there. Actually, we can carry that through into there. That works. connecting there. Yeah, that kind of works. Uh, let's see if we can actually connect the road there as well. Yeah, that works as well. Let's make sure we have water coverage over here. We don't, but we can just drag this pipeline down. That will cover most of it. And then we're just going to need to put a couple of little feeder pipes coming off until we can properly expand this area. We'll end up ripping most of these up again, but like I say, these are just temporary placements. And let's <coughs> flood in a load more residential. Okay, and let's go to select. I need to clear out those blocks. Just because I want to make sure that we actually have proper coverage for them. Uh, that one will be okay, I think. Now we just need to get people moving in this area here, hopefully. So, uh, again, we're going to make it a, a pretty area. What have we got here that we can add in? Skating rink. 
Let's put that near the station. Just there. Let's put a big fire pit in. Just there. Uh... Put in a standard little plaza somewhere over here. In fact, let's put two of them in. And let's also make sure we have good police coverage over here as well. Yeah, it's a little bit lax in this part of the city. So let's add in uh, police and fire. Let's put the police there. And the fire can go in opposite side of the road next to the ice rink. Excellent. That's making this area a little bit more desirable. And you can see we're starting to get, I think, a few buildings popping up. If we can get more workers into this area, we can try and keep our industry area alive. And let's go into our district and expand sunset. Like so. Just to try and generate a larger amount of workers. We'll actually bring this up here as well. I think cover this area. So that's all the workers there for Industry Town. Hopefully that will help alleviate some of those issues over there. Oh, we've got big water problems over here. Do, are they just not connected? Or do we just not have enough water? Oh, we don't have enough water. Let's add another pump. Oh, and we unlocked sewage pumps, didn't we? Sewage treatment plants. So we can actually, if I put two of these in, we can actually get rid of those horrible pump systems that we already have over here and replace these with proper sewage treatment plants. Let's take these out completely. And let's stick in proper sewage treatment. Let's take that off as well. Doesn't really serve a purpose now, that one on its own. It's kind of blocking off good land that we can stick these sewage treatment plants on. And I have just thought of the perfect little name for our district that we have. It's the hottest up-and-coming area. <laughs> Sunset Heights. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Some people will get this, some people won't. Uh, it's not district policies. I want all to rename. There we go. There we go, Doe Streepler. So some of you will get that reference, some of you won't. For those of you that don't, I will explain in the next episode. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's <laughs> it's the hottest up and coming area. <laughs> it's Doe Streepler. Um, I will definitely explain the reference next time out, but I'll leave a little bit of mystery for those of you that don't understand that reference. For at least, you know, for the rest of this episode at the very least. Uh, lots of abandoned buildings over here. What are these buildings? Are these residentials? Are this... Yeah, this is because we had that water shortage. We couldn't repair them in time, so we've lost a whole chunk of residency over there, and... What have we got? Again, same over here. 
those water shortages because we didn't pause and deal with them quickly enough we just had a huge wave of abandoned buildings over here um, all right let's start demolishing clearing out the area it's a nice place to move into around this area with this park should encourage uh, quick redevelopment, I think. Already, I've just removed the house and already you can see it's being rebuilt here, look. And just keep these citizens a bit happier as well, getting rid of this abandoned section. Yeah, and already you can see, look, more houses are starting to go up and... Yeah, it's improving our businesses slightly as well. Uh, what are we looking like over here? Oh, this is huge. This is really bad. <laughs> Some of these are offices as well, I think. It's a mixture of uh, residential, commercial and business sort of over here as well. Some of these are really big houses as well. It's always a, a shame to have to demolish the really big stuff because you know that you know they hold a lot of jobs if they're you know you know buildings that are you know offices or shops, but houses they hold a lot of people. Uh, so it's a shame when they are vacant and dormant like this. Some of these areas are going to kind of rebuild themselves naturally but uh, we'll give them a little helping hand so much destruction by doing this as well we're kind of helping to uh, prevent further losses in the area if the if too many buildings go derelict it, it has a massive imp negative impact on the land value and if the land value isn't high enough for a, a level of building, then that too is likely to get abandoned and you can end up with just you know ghost towns popping up everywhere. So that's why I keep popping in and stripping out parts of the industry from time to time to stop the rest of the industry just naturally abandoning because it becomes a ghost town. Nobody wants to work there, nobody lives uh, in that area, and so on and so forth. I think we've got rid of all of the abandoned buildings now. Yes, we have. So, oh, new one just popped up over here. These are going to keep happening over here until we can get more people through here. Um, let's stick in uh, another. Actually, no, we've got uh, two elementary schools quite close there. Uh, what, what about the high school situation? Yeah, see, it's pretty good. We don't really need another high school in there yet. We'll just have to wait for those people to move in. So uh, I'm going to leave you then overlooking Doe Streepler, and I will explain this in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I will see you all again very soon.